what's up guys welcome back to the channel today we are going to try out this new tactical shovel that we just got from amazon this week i'm going to open this up show you what's inside of it and give it a try come on right, first things first i swear to god if any of you put that stupid song on here This is how it comes. I can't help that it looks like a purse, guys. This is the case it came in. All right, the kit comes with a knife. It also has a fish scaler on the back and a bottle opener, gut hook. Comes with a fishing spear, spear fish. That's what was on the commercial. I don't personally think that's going to work all that great, but shovel head, axe head, and connecting pieces also comes with a compass and a, a fire starter, a magnesium, a ferro rod with a lanyard. I mean, you see a lot of those bushcraft guys use that. I've tried to get that thing to spark since I got it and I haven't got it sparked yet. Carry a lighter. I know it looks good on TV it makes, or good on YouTube. It makes for good videos. Carry a lighter. In a survival scenario, you'll be happy you have a lighter. So this is what is advertised as the appeal of this. This is the Sahara Sailor Tactical Show. Now you do have to make sure you find the right bottom piece for the shovel and then it screws on. Righty tidy. The other pieces aren't the bottom piece is the one you have to make sure you get right. Tighten the shovel down. You can also loosen this screw here. Turn it. Use it like a mallet. Or like a straight shovel. And the compass is the end cap. Now you have a shovel. Now this is longer than the folding shovels you see in the camping uh, sections at the local outdoor store that maybe you grew up on or in the Boy Scouts. But uh, it's not as long as a regular shovel. I'm six feet tall, comes to about my waist. And my wife will tell you I, I'm six feet tall, but I'm mostly torso. My legs aren't that long. But, you know, it beats the length wise it beats just having this which is a lot of these camp shovels so it's got some heft to it and it's got some weight so it's good for chopping through stuff and dirt um, if you did a lot of building with this that would fatigue you pretty quick so I mean I wouldn't suggest building a cabin with it but you need to dig a fire pit or a latrine Supposedly you can also, one side's got a blade, the other side it's got a saw, this ranch is built into the shovel. Can't imagine you ever use that, but if you do, it's pretty good. Get the hand cap piece off, because that's only for the shovel head. The axe head, has its own attachment already attached to it. It's on the adapter. I 
guys as they come to these nice thick cheese to keep you from reaching in and keep you from reaching in and getting cut. As you all know, if you saw earlier, you gotta think about getting cut. <laughs> Uh, so that was uh, the hatchet head that comes with it and uh, honestly if you you'd be better off with just a regular axe uh, I, I honestly thought this was going to be more useful than the, uh, the shovel but with the twisting threads you lose momentum so if you catch one side to if you if you don't distribute the weight equally if you catch one side it twists so you don't have all the force behind your blade for cutting. So yeah, I mean that's that's a knock. I'll be honest with you. That's a pretty big knock on it. And also the compass just came out. So that's another big knock on it. So let's see if I can find it. Um yeah, I, I'm afraid I can't give this a great review. Uh, I wish I could. It's cool, it's a cool concept. I like it. Uh, I mean, it definitely beats nothing. So, because it's because it's collapsible, I'm going. Uh, my intentions for it are to carry that case in the hatch of my lightning kayak, and we're going to do some river fishing, uh, hammock camping adventures. This some river fishing hammock camping adventures this year. So, if you'll stay tuned to that. You know, if we're ever allowed to have adventures again, which <laughs> right now, who knows? Um, but I can tell you the quality on this is a lot less than I would expect for the price. This retails for about $80 for everything. Uh, and thus far, it's had a the thing I thought was going to be the best on it is a major letdown. The, the hatchet feature on it. I'm, I was thinking with the long handle that the hatchet, hatchet feature would be nice because you can extend the handle, but uh, the threads on it just are really a downfall, and the compass coming out was a downfall. Uh, probably just have to tighten that. But so, uh, the shovel so far not too bad. Uh, I can't think of a lot of instances that you use a shovel. I mean, I know. Obviously, I got this idea from Jeremy Fowler. Fowler basically uses uh, his cold stone shovel for, well, everything. He chops firewood, kindling, just about everything with it. And I've uh, had some conversations with Fowler on YouTube and Instagram, and I took his YouTube classes there for a while. So, uh, I mean, the ideal's there. It just it really needs to be improved on. So, Sierra Sailor. You need to figure out a way to make all this lock so it doesn't twist when you're using it because you you lose all your force in your hatchet swing. We're going to take a look at the uh, the other two tools that came with it. It also came with a, a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver adapter. I ain't even figured out where the heck you're supposed to go. If anywhere, it may just be there. Let's see what uh, what else we got here, okay? takes me forever to figure out what piece fits in what. This is the spear attachment. On the commercial I saw somebody spear through a tilapia in a small stream. We don't have tilapia here. And I don't even know what's legal to spear. but I don't know how uh, that's going to hold. I mean it might. Seems a little bit small for the head on it. Seems a little small for much of anything to me. The knife also screws into the same piece. And you just end up with a, a regular knife. I don't know how it would be. I mean, I guess if you had this in your hatch and it's all you had. You need a bottle opener. 
supposedly you bought an opener fish scaler. I've never used a fish scaler in my life. The spoon works. As a matter of fact, the best fish scaler you can get is two bottle caps nailed to a board. So that's a nice feature. It's not very well balanced to use as a knife. Cut meat or something. I don't. So, you probably just want to carry a knife. I think most outdoors want to carry a knife anyway. So, if I was you with this, I'd just carry a knife. So, my honest opinion of this is it's a cool concept. It's a nice toy. It can make it a cool gift for somebody who's in the outdoor style of life. Uh, but it's a lot better in theory than in practice. I mean, I came out here and just did a couple of things with it. This is not even. This is nowhere near a real life scenario, and it's definitely not a survival scenario. Would it get you through? Yeah. I mean, I guess you could chop kindling and stuff with it. You got trapped on the side of a riverbank somewhere, had to spend the night, and needed a fire. Although, good luck making one with that. But, uh, you know, there are much cheaper alternatives that you could carry that do a better job. I mean, you can, you can get an axe at the hardware store for <clears throat> a third of the price of that. Just a regular axe. And if you can figure out a way to carry that, or a, a hatchet, a cabin hatchet, you've seen them. I, I was never a big hatchet guy. They're heavy and awkward. But, uh, so instead of a camping hatchet or this, just go to uh, the hardware. Go to the hardware aisle at your local Walmart or Home Depot, even, and just buy a regular axe. Harbor Freight, you can get one for about ten, twelve dollars. So carry that. Carry a regular knife. That knife isn't all that useful. That spear, I don't know exactly what it does. That shovel, yeah, it's not bad. Uh, it's a nice shovel. It's nice that it breaks down, but. Uh, you could probably get by with a folding camping shovel. You could get by with a regular shovel from a hardware store if you got a way to carry it. So, even carry the shovel head and the axe and just chop a handle. Alright? Hey, thanks for watching. We appreciate your review. If you're interested in this, I will leave a link in the Amazon. I'll leave the Amazon link in the description box below. Well, it is cool, and we do appreciate it. And in use, I, I can't recommend that you use this every day. If you want to have something to have in the back of your truck, or something to have in your canoe or kayak, it's a pretty cool option. But if you're planning a trip, there are cheaper and more useful alternatives. Thanks for watching. See you next time.